do we got here? Well, I've got some vintage pinbacks for sale. They're various sports figures. Roy Campanella, Pee Wee Reese. Back in the day when baseball was with these people, you wore a suit and a tie to the game. They actually had ties when you went to games? They invented those already? Oh, watch your son. <laughs> I decided to come to the pawn shop today to sell my vintage pinback collection. I purchased a collection from a friend of mine that needed some money, and the least I'll take is $1,500. I'd like to sell them today because I like to put a bigger down payment on the truck I like to buy. All right, so what do you know about them all? I know that most of them are probably 30s and 40s. These Jackie Robinson ones really stood out to me. People wore these pins in support of Jackie Robinson coming up out of the Negro Leagues into the Major League Baseball, along with We Want Leo for Leo Satchel Page and Suitcase Simpson, these were some of the first players ever to come up in Major League Baseball. OK, that's pretty cool. There was all black pro baseball teams as early as the 1880s. But Major League Baseball didn't become integrated until 1947, when Jackie Robinson started playing for the Brooklyn Dodgers. That's a lot of pins, Rick. I believe there's about 70. You got some neat history here. I mean, you have the St. Louis Browns that don't exist anymore. You have the Boston Braves. Uh, the Jackie Robinson stuff is cool. Yeah, my favorite one's the Babe Ruth one, though. No one threw anything Babe Ruth away. Mm -hmm. So that's why a lot of times it just doesn't go for as much as you think it would, because it was Babe Ruth. too much out there. I mean, you got a lot of cool pens here. I love collections like this because I know I have two possible ways to make money off them. I can either sell the entire thing to one collector, or I can break it up and probably make more. What'd you want to do with them? I wanted to sell them. How much you want for them? I'd like 7,500. Damn. Um, I don't see it, son. You know, this is my problem with this stuff. They're cool, they're neat. I don't know the market on them. Let me call on a buddy of mine. If there's anybody who'll know about it, it'll be him. Let's try it. All right. I'm feeling pretty excited that an expert's actually going to come in here and evaluate these, so I really know what they're worth. I'm hoping for the stars and hopefully end up there. This is one heck of a collection. Why don't you tell me all about these? These are called PM10 stadium pinbacks, and these would have been sold outside the stadiums probably in the late 40s to the mid part of the 60s. OK. Oh, wow, look at these two. I'm rooting for Jackie Robinson, and I'm for Jackie. This would have been, obviously, during the integration of baseball when uh, Jackie broke the color barrier. Back in the late part of the 40s, the integration of baseball was a huge and very controversial topic. There's a lot of people who are for it and just about as many who are against it. What do you think all this is worth? Anytime you have old sports collectibles, condition is always going to be a factor. We have a great amount of rust and wear on these. Also, this one's like missing the pin back. Now, as far as value goes, these two right here are really neat. As a pair, easily about 600 bucks. The Babe Ruth pin, about another 250. So there's a lot of value in these, and as a collection, they certainly do add up. So what do you think the whole thing's worth? As a collection here, given the condition and the variety and the rarity of some of these, $2,500 all day. OK. Oh, that sounds a little low to me. Being as rare as some of these are, it's almost as rare to find a buyer for them these days. Thanks, man. Hey, you bet, Rick. There are quite a bit of pins in this collection, but just because there's a lot of them doesn't necessarily mean the value's there. All right, so um, are you even still interested in selling them? I definitely don't want to leave for anything less than what I purchased for. OK, what'd you pay for them? $1,500. Um, That's the top of the mark, Rick. There's some really good ones over here. I mean, there's. Putting out $1,500, there better be some good ones in there. <laughs> OK. Well, I can't do it for less than, less than what I got it for. I really can't. I'd rather just keep them. All right, 1500 bucks. All right. I think I actually did pretty good, considering that I got over 50% of what it's worth. I'm going to go ahead and just put that into my down payment on the truck I like to buy. 